Thank you, Mr. Leader. Uh, I just chaired a hearing with Secretaries Blinken and Austin about the national security challenges we face in Ukraine, in Israel, the Indo-Pacific, and around the world. And in our discussion, it was clear senators on both sides of the aisle understand we have to meet this moment with one robust package. We can't just do half of our job here. Because while the challenges we and our partners face across the globe are distinct, they are connected and they are urgent. This is not the time to be short-sighted or play political games like Speaker Johnson's proposal does. We are not abandoning our allies in Ukraine. We are not punting on hum life-saving humanitarian aid. And we are not conditioning our support for Israel on giving billionaire tax cheats a get-out-of-jail-free card. That is a proposal that will go nowhere here in the Senate. This is a time to be strategic and work together for the good of our country. We need a package that treats each of these crises seriously, and that's exactly what I'm working on drafting with Senator Collins. We must take a full view of this moment. If we're going to get this right, we have to understand how these conflicts are developing today and what our strategy is for the future. It's especially important we see the big picture without losing sight of the human, human reality on the ground, the fact that in the middle of every conflict are civilians, residents who are displaced from their homes, hostages torn from their families, people facing obstacles getting basic medical services, and kids and families who desperately need food and water. Any package absolutely must continue our long-standing and all-important tradition of leading the global humanitarian response that really matters. Let me be clear here. We are making, helping make sure people have food and water and medical care, whether they are in Ukraine or in Gaza. It's not just the right and moral thing to do, it is also very clearly in our national interest as it promotes long-term stability and security, combating ho hopelessness that can spiral into new threats. We have to show we understand that because make no mistake, Hamas is hoping that we ignore the humanitarian needs in Gaza so it can drive people to despair than anger. We cannot play into their hands. Investing in humanitarian aid makes the world and America safe. This is absolutely a critical component of any supplemental. All of our adversaries are watching closely to see whether we have the vision here to recognize how these crises are related and the resolve to come together and respond forcefully to them. I hope senators on both sides of the aisle are ready to show our adversaries unity, not dysfunction. And finally, before I conclude, let me say this firmly and unequivocally. We are the United States of America. We can stand with our allies around the world and tackle the challenges facing our families here at home at the same time. And at times like this, we must. So I will keep pushing for us to take swift action on domestic challenges like the child care crisis as well. Thank you. Senator Carter.